Curzo 84. Uh, just a, a little documentary on the Curzo Amusement Park South End. Uh, the, the park's been going about 82 years now. Is that right? Mm -hmm. well, speak up, speak up. You want to sit on my knee, do you? No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're tired of living. <laughs> well, you're off luxuries. Um, really? Yeah, it's been going about 82 years now. Park. Um, it was 30 acres originally, wasn't it? Yeah, so they cut it down. We yeah. spore it all, didn't we? Yeah, really? it is. Yeah, yeah. There's only about six acres left here now. Exactly. Yeah. And I suppose that would be getting smaller shortly you know, in the near future, wouldn't it? Yeah, it right? If it keeps raining as it is, yeah. 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 Shrinks up. We'll keep uh, me uh, best stand up. Uh, uh, keep uh, them. We'll keep right from me, won't you? <laughs> 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 I wish you'd shut up. You've got a big mouth, that fella. Oh, terrible. That's all right. I'm just trying to block him out. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 I've got a big curtain down over there. Can you hear us all right over there? Yeah, that's all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, the, uh, the cars have been going about 82 years now. It's uh, had every every conceivable ride in here. And most of the rides were brought to the cars before they toured the rest of England and Europe. They tried here, weren't they? Uh, they were tried and tested first before they went elsewhere. Uh, they've had different new side shows at a 100 ton whale here in 1910. That, uh, it was called Eric the Whale, it was a light one. It was, it was smelt well as well, yeah. <laughs> About August, middle of August, had to get rid of it because it stunk the place out. Right? And they took it down to the uh, sewerage works to have it uh, chopped up and burnt up in the incinerators there. Uh, what else? Uh, Pontins have been here, the uh, holiday camp people. Chipper Phil just to perform in the, uh, the big rink down there. Oh, a few big names have been down here. Yeah, it? and me, yeah, I've been here as well. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy Savile. Was he here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He might be still here, no way. He's got to go anywhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's been a great old place, really. The old dome, for instance, uh, that's on the conservation area. Uh, um, Theme, is it? Yeah, old line here yeah, as well. Uh, that, they used to stand up the top there during the war days and look down the Thames and watch the German aeroplanes coming up the Thames to follow the Thames up. No, 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 that's after that. They, they come up the Thames and, and when they used to radio through to London, so there's an air raid imminent and it was coming up just passing the Kurzel Dome, if you like to bomb London like, you know, that all run for shelter and uh, sirens used to go on that and uh, still got a siren at the back of the curve. Right? Yeah, they don't use it now though, do they? Because the war's finished, they still isn't it? For, uh, yeah. Ceremonial occasions, isn't it? No, like flooding. Floods. Yeah. Yeah. Seems very if it don't work. Uh, that's it, yeah. And uh, then we're all in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, well, what else do you want to say then about this? Uh, what do you think of your governor so far then? Uh, <laughs> do I have to answer that one? <laughs> <laughs> if, I could, if I could have the mic by myself, then I would tell you. <laughs> oh, thank you. As another honest uh, employee, <laughs> yes, I mean, faithful as well. Yeah, yeah, just for a record, so I am Alan, Alan for the near future line. They don't call you Crawley Alan for nothing, do you? No, nah. no, right, good, good. They used to. They used to. Good. They ain't worn your kneecaps out yet. Yeah, oh, that's right. right. They've got a new pair of trousers for this little kid. Did you? Yeah. You ain't. You ain't got to increase them. Right, I'll have to get a loan out for them. There's lots of girls beside that I'd like to be beside, beside the seaside. Beside well, anyway, the uh, sea. we used to have three scenic railways in the Kurzel. Uh, one was a cyclone over in the far corner of uh, Arnold Avenue and Barrison Road. And there's two uh, big uh, scenic railways on this site where the Wild Mouse is it's extending to the Calypso and the uh, Moby Dick, the inflatable ride at the moment. We had Tornado Smith, the uh, water death rider, a big toboggan ride over in the far corner That's on the left. One, wasn't it? No, there's the water shoe, that was, yeah. And you had the uh, big uh, Noah's Ark, a uh, massive bowl slide. Um, that was the big ghost train. Yeah, yeah, we've car parking there on 500 any. coaches. They used to fill the park up or the car parking area up every Saturday evening. 
and you never had to get off the top of a coach if it was a bit drunk. You could walk all the way around the park on top of the coaches without getting off one, like, you know. So if you didn't find your right coach, you'd get on anybody's, really, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, what else do you want to say, then? Uh, well, I've got a bit of a jaw, right? As it is, yeah, I know. I think you've uh, yeah. I ain't exhausted myself, have I, you think? <laughs> Uh, better go and have a rest after that. Well, rest me jaws, that's yeah. the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Put your teeth in the safe. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I'll break them in with somebody else today, haven't <laughs> I? <laughs> I don't want to get. <laughs> started its downfall when uh, the governor started concessionaire and all the rides out to different people and uh, they just come in uh, two weeks before they open the beginning of the season and uh, just opened the ride up a bit of paint and a, a little bit of grease here and there and started riding the, uh, the ride in again uh, this wasn't a good thing really because no new wood or new metal was put in and it just got run down and run down and in the finish it got to a dangerous position so the governor, I suppose, thought, well, sorry, oh, they haven't looked after the place, I'll have to sell it like, you know. Uh, I hope it doesn't sell any more because I think the curves will close in and in the near future will be the, the end of a, a, a very old and uh, wonderful era for it. Like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's, uh, it was era or era, is it? Era? Era, it could be, era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When you're taking money, it's one of the best games in the world. When you're not taking money, well, you, it's a... Uh... No, last night was all right. Last night sold a few hats and a uh, few people come in and sold a few hats, like old times, a bit, only a bit. But years ago, well, years ago, we used to take a lot, a lot. Years ago, it was good. But uh, it's deteriorating a bit now, a little bit. You know what I mean? So what else? I can't think of anything else. I can't think of anything else. What else can I think of? He says, talk about something else. What can I talk about? Well, what's the good of talking about years ago? Well, years ago, well... well what do you mean, years ago? Oh, well, years ago it used to be good, because you used to have Beano's and you used to have... Uh, well, it's all right, you used to get a lot of drunks, but you used to sell a lot of hats and rock and all the rest of it. But now, well, it's deteriorating a little bit, but uh, we can't grumble, we still make a living, you know what I mean? Uh, will you come to buy a hat, girls, because they like to take a photo of you buying a hat. Yes? Want to buy a hat? It's careful the wire. You sure? Hey. I see.
life at this time. You find little time for much else. Be warned that if this trend is left unchecked, it could lead to disaster. Take your profession with logic and wisdom. Rushing headlong into such a situation could prove unwise. Years ago, when we were younger and used to work on the ball game, that was different. Well, were you going to take photos photo of the ball game as well? Oh, do you remember the old ballroom? Uh, do you remember the old ballroom? I was only talking before about the old snooker room. What about a snooker? Right, is it? Hey, what we were talking, what's the fella's name that used to be up there? Only talk, I was just talking to uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, Want to buy some rock, lady? Lady. She's been here a few years, you know. Yeah, she's uh, she works at a cashier in there. Have you had her in there? Well, you've got to get one of her because she's been here a few years. Hello, everybody. I've been here about 10 years and uh, I've seen a great difference when we first came here. We were very, very busy indeed. It's not, we don't get the crowds in here now like we used to. And um, I used to have to work till midnight, but we don't work that late any longer. Not since they built the flats outside in the grounds. I still liked every moment of it, else I wouldn't have been here that long. See, years ago, all those stalls, and you see all these machines along here, they were all stalls. They were all, uh, there were spot darts, individual games, spot darts, ball games, darts, ball in the bucket, all along, all the way along. But now it's uh, machines, machines. The modern trend. Morning, Ron. Long time no see. Yes. Long time say, no it's see. It's a long time since you worked down here, isn't it now? Yes. Must long time. 19... Well, in the 30s, in the 30s. It just me. I came back five and a half years ago. Yeah. But I was down here, I started here, when was it, 1946 or 45? Yeah. Well, this, this must have been round about, let's see, 19... 34, most of them could be before, and my sister used to work down here. Did she really? What, in a show, and Lady of the Knives. Well, there's a bit of big Arabian knives, really? and they used to throw them and stick them in the floor. <laughs> down here. Yeah. And that's what she used to be. And it's beyond the outside used to be painted up, a thousand pounds guaranteed if she's not alive. Oh, and this, and it, bar, this bar wasn't here then, was it? I don't think so. No, I don't think, think this, so. This was, this was originally was the Spanish bar, wasn't it? At the um, Barley Moe. About 1950, I think it was, it was changed to the Spanish, wasn't it? Well, that must have been round about that, that yeah. Because we're going back a few years and... The old grey matter is not what it used to oh, be, no, you know. No, not now, not what it used to be. <coughs> but I think it was about 1950 these bars were changed. Yeah. This was the Barley Bow, that was the uh, lounge bar, then it's now this is the main bar. That's right, yeah. And this yeah. is now the Spanish. Yeah. But, um, but the, the show the sister used to be in was round about where the clairvoyant. You know the hand harness and that? Right. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere there, in between here and there. I don't remember that. Mm. Um, well, that, was, that, as I say, that was round about 33, 34. 34, yeah. As I say, I started here in 19... And she's still alive. Yeah. Well, she's a she's year... still alive now. Is she really? Yeah. She's a uh, head waitress up at um, Karen's Banquet in the street. Well, how old would she be now? Well, she's a little, about a year or a little over than that, to me. Because this place has been here about, what, six, <laughs> Since the first started, yeah, well, I'm 64. Yeah, so comes on 64. You'd be about 10 when it originally started. That's right. Because uh, the Moore Houses, I think they took over in the fourth year of its. It was originally called the um, Lunar Park. Mm. And after four well, years. And what were the back houses to do? Was it back house? I don't know. I think they used to run the cinema, didn't they? 
That's right. Yeah, used to run with you. I used to come to the store. And all the restaurants, sorry. Oh, we used to go to the cinema Saturday morning. Just yeah, what, is what is the history now? What's the cinema? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to go in. Saturday the morning show. Hate for the kids. Cake <laughs> and cake sit in the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a rifle range. It's a two, two, two short barrel rifle. Um, yeah, five shots, 50p, and you could win a teddy bear if you hit the four dots. That's all enough about it. <laughs> four dots. Oh, oh, well, I ain't got no four dots. No, they're up there. That's four dots you got to hit. You have one in each one, each dot. And the prizes you win is up there. Teddy bears. And that's it, really. and regulation darts where we can win prizes of, of different, uh, by getting different scores, doubles and trebles. The idea is to score as many doubles as you can from five darts. You can win a major prize by getting three in the same treble, like the 180 that you see scored on television. Um, what more can I say? <laughs> we have uh, five or six boards. This, this joint has been in, in the curls since it opened. I've been here a number of years, about 30 years I've been in the Curzel, working on different stalls. And I think this is the final year, and it's a, uh, it is an honour to be on this video. Thanks very much. <laughs> At the I've been working for Mr. Daly for about 12 months. It's a great shame if the curves will close his down because it's quite an institution in South End. It's been going for a lot of years, but it's run down at the moment and it needs a bit of money spent to try and bring it back to its former glories. Thank 
the TV. No. Spins round.
Dragon for a false easy ride. Hey, you want to ride with the lights up or with the lights up? Right in the top. Yeah, boy, would you want? That's what I'd have to so. <laughs>
Shall I do a song and dance now? Or? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to say something else don't now? Don't shake hands or kiss <laughs> each other. <laughs> no? Yeah? yeah. Oh, I'll give that rise later on, all right? You want to put that night on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks. <laughs>